Hello students, so far we have learned the elimination method to solve the linear equations in two variables that is elimination by equating the coefficients and elimination by substitution. Also we have learned to solve the linear equations in two variables using the graphical method, right? So these are the two methods that we have done so far, elimination method and graphical method. Now it's time for us to start with the third method to solve linear equations in two variables and that is the Kramer's rule. But to understand Kramer's rule, before we start with the Kramer's rule, we need to understand the concept of something called as a determinant. Now what exactly is a determinant? Let's try to understand that. Now you all can see a number on the screen that is 3, you all can see one more number that is 4, 9 and 6. So there are 4 numbers on the screen right now. Now if you actually observe these numbers, these numbers are actually arranged in the form of rows, so there are 2 rows basically and columns, right? So there are 2 columns basically. Now such an arrangement of numbers in rows and columns when written between 2 vertical lines is known as a determinant. Now what exactly is a determinant? This is the determinant which is there on your screen right now. A determinant is an arrangement of numbers between two vertical lines and the numbers are arranged in the form of rows and columns. So here there are two rows and two columns, so we call it as a 2 by 2 determinant, right? Uh, like in your 10 standard, in this chapter we will only be dealing with a 2 by 2 determinant but you go in your higher standards, you will be learning different types of determinants like a 3 by 3 determinant with 3 rows, 3 columns, etc, 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 right? But in 10 standard, we just need to learn to solve a 2 by 2 determinant, that's it. Now what is more important from the examination point of view is how to find the value of the determinant. Now you get such questions in the exam where you will be given a determinant like this and you will be asked to find the value of it. Now how do we find the value of a determinant? It is very, very simple. You just need to cross multiply. But remember, the cross multiplication should start from here, that is from 3, it is compulsory. So your first product would be like 3 into 6, That's the that would be in the first bracket 3 into 6. Then the next bracket will be like 4 into 9, right? So the first bracket is 3 into 6, the next bracket is 4 into 9, just don't forget to put the minus sign in between, that's the rule. So that's how you find the value of a determinant, you just simply cross multiply 3 into 6 minus 4 into 9, as simple as that. Let's calculate 3 6 are 18, 4 9 are 36, 18 minus 36, that's minus 18 and your answer is the value of this determinant is minus 18. Very, very simple, right? Now before we start with the Kramer's rule, we need to solve a few sums which only deals with how to find the value of a determinant, as simple as that. 